this video, I will show you how to save and restore your controller set points and configurations to your computer. I would highly encourage you to perform this task every time you finish starting up a unit. Taking with you a file indicating exactly how the unit was configured has many advantages. For example, if the building owner makes any changes in the future that shouldn't have taken place, you can simply connect to the controller on site or remotely and restore those points back into the system. Another situation in which this feature becomes very handy is when there are multiple units that will be configured the same or at least very similarly. In this case, you will spend time correctly configuring the first unit, saving these configurations onto your computer, and then restoring them onto the rest of the controllers. Even if some of the set points and configurations are slightly different, you can always go back and adjust them later. I will now show you how to save your set points and configurations. Let's assume that you have already entered your set points and you have performed your configurations. Let's click on save on the left corner of your screen and this will open the file save window. Please note that your file will be saved under the C file on your Prism 2 folder. At the bottom of the screen, on selected file, you will enter a name. I will encourage you to assign a name indicating the job name, a date, and a unit address. Once you have done so, go ahead and click save. This will take you back to the set point window, where a system message will appear indicating that the set points have been saved. Once you see this message, go ahead and click OK. Now the set points and configuration of this particular controller have been downloaded and saved onto your computer. Now let's assume that time has passed and we received a call from a customer stating that after playing with Prism 2, the unit is just not working properly anymore. In that case, you want to restore the original set points and configurations back into that controller. Go ahead and click Restore. This will give you two options. Restore files created before Prism 4.5.6 or restore files created after Prism 4.5.5. My file was created after Prism 4.5.5 was released, so I choose the second option. This will open the File Open window. Under Selected Directory, I will choose the file that I want to restore back onto this controller. Once I choose it and highlight it, I click Open. This will take me back to the Set Point windows, where a system message will appear indicating Set Points Restored Correctly. Go ahead and click OK. Now the original Set Points and configurations have been restored back onto that controller. Please note that you can only save and restore set points and configurations from and to the same style of controllers. If you try to load set points from a BCBX to a BCCX2, for instance, Prism 2 will show you an error message preventing you from making this mistake. From the set point windows, you can also reset factory defaults. Go ahead and click on it. This will open the clear settings and it will ask you, are you sure you want to reset factory defaults? and it will also warn you this will clear all current configurations and settings. If you want to continue, go ahead and click Yes. On this video, I have shown you how to save your set points and configurations onto your computer and how to restore them back onto a controller. And we have also shown you how to reset your factory defaults.